you may be in a position at this time in your life where a new opportunity has presented itself. This is the season, especially in uh, the Western world, where young people prepare themselves to go into university. And as a matter of fact, tomorrow, my own granddaughter begins her journey at a university as she starts her first class uh, tomorrow morning. It's a new beginning for her because she's far away from home in a different culture, a different country. And uh, we are trusting that God is going to use her. We know God is going to use her mightily as she starts something new. I want to talk about that for a few moments as you join me here on Sitam Church Online. My name is Kwame Rubadu. Someone once said that it's always important to see how something begins, what happens at the start of something. And in this particular case, as we are going to look into the passage of Scripture, this was the beginning of missionary work or missions outreach uh, from any of the churches that had been planted uh, in uh, the area around Israel, the Near East uh, at that time. This was the beginning of ministry uh, to um, the Gentile world. And part of that began in the city of Antioch. Antioch is mentioned uh, as the place where believers were first called Christians. In other words, there was such a vibrancy of faith and a vibrancy of character that people who uh, were followers of the Lord Jesus Christ were being teased and called little Christs, or you behave just like the Lord Jesus Christ, an excellent reputation to have had for them. But as I said earlier, before we, just as we began uh, today, um, tomorrow, my granddaughter starts a brand new horizon, a new experience uh, in her life as a university student. How do we make sense of this? And how do we start something new the right way? Let me read the first two verses of Acts chapter 13, verses 1 and 2. Now, in the church in Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, the Manaean, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. Verse 2, while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And so after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. It seems really important, but almost casual and natural for the church in Antioch to have been in a place or in the habit of worship, fasting and prayer as the Holy Spirit began to speak about what he wanted to do and how he wanted to start this new missions experience, not just for the church, but also for Paul and Barnabas and ultimately for us as well. This is how the gospel got to go around the world. It is my hope that as you start something new, whatever it might be, maybe it's a new job, maybe it's a, a new family, Maybe a new child is coming to your home. Maybe like my granddaughter, you're starting a new experience at university. Start in the presence of God. Start in the place of intimate connection with God, because that's where you can hear his voice. That's where you will know what to do. One of the most taxing, one of the most difficult things to, to uh, comprehend or to uh, consider when you're starting something new is, what am I going to do in this context? And that's where the Holy Spirit comes in because he will set you, has set you apart in order to show you exactly what you need to do. Make that your experience. If this is a new start for you in whatever capacity, in whatever area of your life, start in the presence of God. God bless you.